Welcome back to some more World of Warcraft Classic Hardcore. We're going to continue on with the Anniversary Edition. We're now just going to make our way to a, bro a broken ferry that's on the, the shore here. I think. I think it's broken. Uh, these should be almost always avoidable. Like, if you can avoid them. If you can't, obviously, choose a line. Fight your way through them. Not a very easy uh, quest. So the life drain almost at zero there for him. I don't think I have cleanse yet. Oh, we get a spell at eighteen. Hold on, buddy. then fairly easy oh now we're going down there to all the mages i hate that place but maybe on this server i'll actually like it <laughs> maybe all are dead maybe this is the one place nothing will be dead until i clear it and then someone will just come and take the item Or maybe I'll be that guy. Who knows? I'll catch you guys a little bit closer. Alright. So it just does look like they're up. Kill this one as well. That's done. And now we're just heading back here. 22 to 30. How 
was my gardener outside putting something against the wall? That was that loud, by the way. Yeah, I'll catch you once we're at the camp. But I think we're going back to Undercity and then we're gonna Hearthstone. What the heck? Is he breaking something on the wall? And then we also... Um, I think we're going back to Razor Hill and maybe potentially even start on Crossroads. All right. Speak with maps in this pendant, HM. Interesting. It is obvious that the Dalaran wizards are interested in Ambermill for some purpose, but still, their aim is hidden to me. Perhaps Dalar will know something of their use. Take the pendant to Dalar Dawnweaver. Perhaps he can shed some light on the wizard's plans. I hope I can acquire enough energy from such a limited sample. Perhaps I should have had you get more shackles. Nonetheless, you showed great skill in collecting these, adventurer. It will indeed take me longer than I had thought to uncover the dark secrets behind the enchantments Arugu was using. But in the meantime, I need you to take care of a slight problem our dark stalkers have discovered. It seems that Arugul let his magic spread to the deep Elam mine in the hills to the southeast. The mine would prove to be quite a resource for Verimathras's advance. I want you to behead the tainted foreman of the mine, Grimson the Pale. With his death, the mine shall be ours. Interesting more machinations of the Kirin Tor, it would seem. This is a powerful artifact. It was used frequently by powerful wizards of the Kirin Tor to channel magical energies. That they are delivering so many to Amber Mill indicates that they must be undergoing a project of some magnitude. I will see if I can pierce their shields and ascertain their intent. Of course! How could I have forgotten? Ambermill was one of the sites earmarked by the Kirin Tor, noted because it houses a dormant lay energy node. The wizards must be planning to reactivate the node and use its energies for some greater purpose. We cannot allow this to happen. It will take a great amount of power to activate the area's lay energies. We can stall them by taking the pendants away from the wizards. Relay this information to Alistair. He will decide a course of action. Ill news you bring, adventurer. If Dalar is correct, and I've no reason to believe he isn't, we must move quickly. I must confer with him on our plan of attack. But in the meanwhile, we will have to delay their progress. Dalar is attempting to locate the source of the wizard's spellcasting. For now, we'll have to slow their progress in any way we can. The conjurers, mages, and protectors are no doubt carrying the pendants. Remove and retrieve them. Take the main road south and the eastern fork into Ambermill. You say that this ring was worn by a woman recently killed? The only nearby source of such a body would be the mass graves in Tirisfal. The Rothide Knolls must be taking those corpses to Fenris Isle. Before we launch an assault on Fenris Isle, we must determine who is behind the Rothide Knolls. Our apothecaries believe their origin lies within the strange fluid that flows through their bodies. Go to Fenris Isle, east of the decrepit ferry, and collect Rothide Icor from the knolls you find there. Bring it to Apothecary Renferl, stationed outside the sepulchre. If you want to find the husband or beloved who gave Delia her ring, then speak with Magistrate Severin in Brill. He should have records of recent deaths and, with luck, can discover who Delia is. But I wouldn't hope it. Whoever gave her the ring is probably dead, or if he's undead, he probably no longer cares about Delia. All right, so we're making our way here. We 
which is downstairs. How good of Apothecary Renferl to send you to me, adventurer. These samples will indeed prove useful to the cause. I will begin studying their toxic and contaminable properties at once. You can be of further service to the Royal Apothecary Society, adventurer. When Arugul cast his wretched magic on the forest, he cursed one of our most promising members, Apothecary Berard. Now a mindless servant of Arugul. Berard is useless to us, but his findings might prove to be of worth. He was studying an ancient plague that killed off all the aquatic life in Lake Lordomir ages ago. Retrieve Barad's journal from his study in the Pyrewood Village Inn, and take it to Apothecary Renferl. Strength and honor. He's hunting a recipe, there we go. I knew it was here. Needs to be 40. It's 39. <laughs> well done, dude. Mm -hmm. You look pretty strong. Listen, my good friend Cargal needs some new recruits for Baron's duty. I know you want to do what's right for the Horde. Well, this is your chance. Take this recruitment letter to Cargal and see if he'll sign it. Alrighty then, we're gonna make our way now to the Barons, dude. Going to Crossroads. Pretty cool stuff. And this will obviously be the very first flight point that we can also fly from and to Ogremar. Looking for one more healer for RFC. I'm gonna do RFC soon again. I just wanna do the quest line. Which is this right here? Uh, hidden enemies. Yeah, I, I joined this guild because it said Southhound. And I would like to play this character from start to end as Southhound. Can you send gold to a bank, Char? Yeah. 
Brawl. Oh, so Tokrin sent you? He's an excellent scout. I'm not sure what I'd do without him. I'll sign your recruitment letter, but what we really need is someone at the crossroads. Take this signed recruitment letter to the crossroads. Sergra Darkthorn, curse her hide, is in charge there. She's a nasty shaman who will talk your head in circles before she lets you do anything useful. Thrall is convinced she's something special, but I'm not so sure. You'll just have to decide for yourself, pup. So you can't even send gold. What's on this character is on this character. Look at all these quests we're gonna accept in Crossroads. Goodness. Uh, maybe we should just uh we should just grab hidden enemies. Mount at 40 is gonna be a sick grind. Uh not for me, dude. I have skinning. I'm gonna be able to buy three mounts when I when I get to that level. I think vendoring skinning is the most profitable thing in the game. It's the most profitable by far profession in the game. My skinning was probably as full, right? Yeah, we should go train skinning again. I'm going ta tailoring. Yeah, screw that, dude. You're looking for a good route to, in order to farm profession? No. I skin stuff as I fight. I get pluff as I play. Have a look at my meats, friend. You won't want to go out into the barrens without a good stock of provisions. I have some choice cuts of meat that I want to send to a friend. Her name is Grishka, the innkeeper in Orgrimmar. Will you deliver the meat for me? The fastest way to Orgrimmar is on a Windrider. Take the meats to the Crossroads Windrider Master, Devrek, and speak with him about transport to Orgrimmar. Not long ago, a shipment of silver was stolen from our guard tower. It was meant as payroll to the Crossroads guards, and we want that silver back. The strange thing is, we caught one of the thieves on the night of the theft, and it was a raptor! Unbelievable! I don't know what raptors would want with silver, but I don't care. I want the raptors dead so they won't steal from us again. Hunt raptors in the barrens. Collect for me their heads. All right, adventurer. You want to earn your keep with the Horde? Well, there's plenty to do here, so listen close and do what you're told. I'm happy to have met you. Thrall will be glad to know that more females like you and I are taking the initiative to push forward in the barrens. Your first prey will be easy. The plain striders to the east have been harassing our food supplies and have become a nuisance. Put down the plain striders and return to me with their beaks. Long ago, the barrens was a lush place, teeming with life. But war and cataclysm raged across the land, scorching it and leaving a dry husk. Such is the way of things. 
and it saddens my heart. But within the past few years, new oases have formed in the Barrens, and life stirs, and deep down, we druids sense a power leaking its way to the surface. We must find its source, travel to the Forgotten Pools, northwest of the crossroads, search its waters for a source of power, then return here. Perhaps you know the pain of uncertainty? Perhaps not, adventurer. But know this, I stand here every day from the sun's rising till its decline, scouring the horizon for more of those monsters. I've killed every pigman I've come across since, but my thirst for their blood is far from quenched. Perhaps instead of heading north to the crossroads, I should have headed to Torato. You, adventurer, you could help me. Kill them. Kill as many as you can. Bring me their tusks and we will celebrate their deaths together. We battled in a small torrent camp when we were separated. She held three of the bristlebacks off by herself, but the odds began to overwhelm us. I led some away only to see her overwhelmed by newcomers. In my rage, I turned to face my enemies, but they brought me down easily with their vast numbers. I awoke to a Torin druid tending my wounds. He had come across me on the gold road as I fell. Please, adventurer, find some sign of my wife. All the Quillbores are our enemies, adventurer. Some just prove to be more of a nuisance than others. The Razormane tribe has been attacking our supply lines from Duratar, causing us no end of annoyance. I have scouts seeking the leader of these raids. But until then, any losses you can inflict on the filthy pigmen would aid us. Start in the northeast towards Durotar. You can always tell their dens from the huge, thorny vines that come up from the earth. Seek them out and slay them. That attack on the caravan contained supplies we desperately needed. You've been brave enough to take on the Razormane tribe so far, and I will ask you to do so again, but this time, I wonder if I could ask you to keep your eyes open for some of our lost supplies. You can probably find them throughout their camps. The Quillbor getting fat off their dishonorable acts. The people of the Crossroads would be in your debt. The Blasted Harpies have been ravaging our caravan supplies for too long. It's time we slit a few of their throats and diminish their numbers. I've been snooping around their nests and figured out who leads who. The most devastating attack will destroy a good section of their lower chain of command. And then we can work our way to the top. I'll start you off slow. Take out Witchwing Harpies and Witchwing Rogue Feathers in the Northwest, and bring me eight Witchwing Talons. That should be a good start. You have to get this meat to Orgrimmar? That is no problem. For a small fee, my Windrider can take you there. For just a few coins, I will have a Windrider bring you to Orgrimmar. When you get there, you can take Zarg's meats to Grishka. Her inn is in the Valley of Strength, not far from the Sky Tower, where my Windrider will drop you off. Speak with me again when you are ready for the journey. Ah, very good. If initial reports are true, then the toxicity of these hearts could lead to further advances in our knowledge of poisons. This is a welcome delivery, adventurer. Your reward is well earned. I have need to send a crate of potions, reagents, and other items to my associates in the old world. Little time I have to actually see them to the dock at Ratchet, and the last caravan has already left. If you could, please take this to Wharf Master Dizzywig. He will ensure that it is placed on the next boat to Blackwater Cove. The oases of the Barrens hide a mystery. Life energy flows from their waters, invigorating the plants and beasts that drink it. Invigorating and altering, there is a mushroom that grows near these oases. Its spores hold properties that we, the apothecaries of Lordaeron, find useful. Bring me these spores and you will earn our gratitude. All members of the Horde are equal in my eyes, adventurer! We have all suffered many burdens, and if it were not for wisdom and honor, then we would be no better than the Scourge or my people, while our blood was tainted by the demon Manoroth. It is your duty to aid the Horde and to defend our way of life. But it is also your duty to know when quarter and compassion should be given to friend and foe alike. Understand this well. This is the new Horde, not some demon-spawned army who lack free will. One thing I will not tolerate are traitors in our midst, adventurer. But I would be a fool to play my hand so early. It would not sufficiently cut the corruption out of our lands and only cause the infection to grow worse. But you, a young adventurer, could go places my agents could not, could learn the truth. 
could find the true head of the beast. If you are brave enough, then enter Skull Rock to the east of Orgrimmar, find a lieutenant's insignia off one of the burning blade there, and return to me. The spirits of the Stone Talon Mountains are angered, for goblins and their servants are plundering and burning the land. So the land has cried out, and those who listen for such things have heard. Sirith Stonebreak, a promising shaman of the Horde, was sent to Stone Talon. She reports massive deforestation at the hands of the goblins and requests aid. Meet Sirith in Stone Talon. To reach her, follow the road west of the Baron's crossroads. She is camped near the Great Wood Vale. Travel to Alder Rise. If we are to make these new lands ours, then we must have places to rest our battle-weary bodies. Lay your axe by the fire and share the stories of your mighty battles. Oh, wonderful. Those are fine cuts. These are from Zarg, are they? The orc sure knows his way into a lady's heart. Oh, I can't wait to cook it, but not too much. Meat is best served rare, don't you think? I've written a letter of thanks to Zarg. Will you deliver it for me? If you've already been to the crossroads and spoken with their Windrider master, then you can fly a Windrider back there. Take my letter to Doris, the Windrider master of Orgrimmar, and speak with him about transport to the crossroads. A level 16 a troll hunter. Don't know why I would play troll, to be honest. If, I, if I'm going to play hunter on a horde, it will always be an orc. Okay, we're gonna do hidden enemies now. This is the pre-quest for RFC that we haven't done yet. And then I think we've done all the quests for RFC. And then if we do it again, most probably we might be all greens. Maybe not our belt, but I think everything else will be green. goodness. There's so many people here.
Burning shadows. so fast Gazus Okay, we've got an eye. There we go. I healed him, don't worry. A lot of skinny we can actually get there. So right now we gotta travel back into... Wow, we have so much to hand in. Okay, made it into Ogremar. Hmm. Could actually be on the top of the tower. I think it's it is. It's the uh the flight master, potentially. So we're not going to do this one just yet. Do I want to go train though? Like we we get heal, but we're not gonna use it. It's too slow of a cast, too big of heals. Hmm, let's go train it. We get a cure disease.
relax. Okay, talk. So let's just uh, see. 155 mana, and it heals pretty much double the mana cost. 75, it is less than double. Quite a bit less. So much less. Way more than double. Way less than double. So a new one is better. Look at that. Re Renew one is the best healing spell we have. 80 mana. Shields for 102. So shielding is bad. So our best thing to do is, like, spam a new one. Because everything else is just sad. Lotar, friend. What Good adventurer! The spirits be praised! Perhaps you are the one who will finally put my greatest fears to rest. Who would suspect someone so young and so brave would rise up and champion our cause? You remind me of myself when I was younger. I will ensure that you are justly rewarded for your efforts. If we both survive the coming storm, but there is time for more praise later. You've not accomplished anything in comparison to what you will face, but this is a good start. Now, let us see if this insignia you found is worth the effort. There is a warlock within the city who believes he has my trust. He does not know that I realize where his true loyalties lie. He is, in fact, the leader of the Burning Blade. But do not rush off to do battle with him. He has a purpose, and we shall use him against our enemies. Take this insignia to him in the Cleft of Shadow here in Orgrimmar. Speak to him and see if he believes you are one of his own. Then return to me here. Listen closely to what you are told, and do not quickly trust, or distrust, for even friends serve their own ends, adventurer. Our great war chief knows this, and to prove that there are warlocks within the Horde who do not wish to destroy it from within, or gain control over it, I have volunteered to aid our young leader in any way I can. Intriguing. The voice you heard mentioned my name. I'm known for hunting down enemies of our war chief, but dot 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 it is strange that I was singled out. Stranger still that the Burning Blade cultists from whom you recovered this pendant have a name so close to my own. I must study this pendant. I must study and, and must ponder the meaning of its message. Thank you for bringing this to my attention, adventurer. You have done your people a great service. Okay, now I just have to run back. Members of the Horde are equal in my eyes, adventurer! 
We have all suffered many burdens, and if it were not for wisdom and honor, then we would be no better than the Scourge or my people, while our blood was tainted by the demon Manoroth. It is your duty to aid the Horde and to defend our way of life. But it is also your duty to know when quarter and compassion should be given to friend and foe alike. Understand this well. This is the new Horde, not some demon-spawned army who lack free will. Excellent! Most excellent adventurer! What you have done this day is only the first step in a much broader foundation. A foundation that we will build the destruction of the Shadow Council on, once and for all. Tell me all he said, and leave not one word out. It may be more important than you realize. Hmm. Leaders of the Searing Blade. This concerns me most. If they are the ones of value to Nehru, then those are who we must target first. This satyr, Basilin and the other Nehru mentioned, what was he? A warlock? Must be slain. Return to the Cleft of Shadow and enter Ragefire Chasm, adventurer. Find these two leaders of the Searing Blade and kill them. But be careful not to let Nehru know it was you who did this. You must retain your identity as one of his sisters in arms. Yeah, I thought I was late, but clearly I wasn't. Uh, click. Ah, uh, this can't be left click. Cleanse. Where's me bad water? Swap these two around again. Nature spells. There's way more damage, so I'll take it, but we do know nature spells.
Was I pull for you? I don't know what's up with warriors and not having a bow, dude. Well, that was bad. Jeez, bro, what are these people typing for 70 sentences for? Does he think wow, is a school project or something? One is a caster that he pulled. I 
Uh, dude, I, I'm a little oom. I should have just sat. Okay, body pulled. So what did I change that key to now? I didn't change it anything. It will make it five. Two intel, one stam, but uh, we can't use it. Just wait until he has some aggro. We're gonna charging in. It's a good thing I decided to, like, lower my Renew. It's not mana efficient.
We don't need that. Dude, why are we going this way, though? This is for sure the harder way to go. Hello? Are we gonna wait for this guy to walk all the way back? I guess so. And it's gonna pull both anyway. Strength and agility. What level is dual spec? No, you don't get that in classic, dude.
I am the healer. Gotta be strong and I gotta be fast. Gotta be faster than life. This uh, tank definitely has aggro issues, man. Yeah, that's definitely a need. Who else need it though? What the heck? Oh my goodness, with three clothies. So let's go, bro. Goodness, what are you standing for? 
Oh yeah, he's maybe waiting for the the mage to get better. Kill it with fire. I don't know, dude. Easy peasy. Didn't have to drink once, dude. I'm very impressed with that, to be honest. Cloth, Intel. Oh, we have exactly the same boots already. Male, male chess piece.
Very good, very good. Now we did all RFC quests as well. Yay. Level 16. Hey, GG. Follow me on YouTube, please. I don't know if these guys will follow, though. <laughs> Okay, now we got a hand in this, and then I think we got to talk to this guy and go back to him again. It's a lot of running up and down with this quest, but at least it's all in Ogremar. Returned adventurer. Some of those loyal to me brought word immediately that the caverns below Orgrimmar were in disarray now that their leaders have been slain. I even heard reports that Nehru was more than agitated. It seems we've put a dent in his armor. I can't say I'm displeased, even with such a minor victory. I think our next step should be to have you placed close to Nehru. If he is as agitated as reports suggest, then we may accomplish two things. One, you may be able to gain some greater knowledge about the Council, or at least the Burning Blade. And two, he may just begin to trust you enough that he asks you to start to aid him. He may very well look at you as someone who can fill the void now that some of the leadership is in turmoil. Return to the cleft and speak to him again, but do not be too overt. Only watched Grubby. Uh... My apologies. My anger rivals that of a rabid Kodo bull. But perhaps it is my own fault. In sending travelers into Ragefire Chasm, I should have seen the possibility that some harm would come from it. It seems both Bazalan and Jirgosh were taken unaware and slain by some of Thrall's do-gooders. A most inopportune time, but there is nothing that can be done about it now. You are one of my lieutenants. Prepare yourself, adventurer. I will call upon you soon. My time spent on the Searing Blade may be all but wasted now, but that does not mean that the Shadow Council's schemes elsewhere must suffer. I will do what I can to minimize the damage here in Ragefire Chasm. 
In the meantime, I will have my agents in the Barrens and Ashenvale begin work on our newest agenda. Return to me soon. Some of the guilds has reached 20. That's pretty cool. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. So now we're getting a green staff. Like, it's not as good as... as the lions. Going insane. A level 20 rogue just died. Didn't he just reach 20? No, it's a warrior. Welcome to Orgrimmar. Going insane becomes going again. I had not heard of any presence of the council or the burning blade in Ashenvale. My spies will investigate adventure. You have done well. For now, rest and keep yourself occupied with other tasks. I will call upon you again soon. Loktar Ogar. We're eighty three percent into this level. One tank less, jeez. Funky level 21 Torn Warrior died. Won't you take me to Funky Town? Funky Town. Blood! You haven't lived until you've looked down on the world from the back of a Windrider. You have to get this to the crossroads in the Barrens. Yes, I can get you there. My Windriders are trained to fly to many different places. As long as you have already been to that place and spoken with the Windrider Master there. You have been to the crossroads and spoken to their Windrider Master Devrak. So now you can fly directly to him from here. Once you're at the crossroads, you can deliver Grishka's letter to Zarg. Speak with me when you are ready to go. Zog, Zog. Okay, so we're finally at Crossroads. And what do you know? The place is filled with people. Have a look at my meats, friend. You won't want to go out into the Barrens without a good stock of provisions. <laughs> I guess she liked it. Nothing brings red mm. to a lady's cheeks like a big juicy steak. Thank you, adventurer. You've done me a great service. Here is some money for your trouble. And don't be surprised if I invite you to my wedding. As the wind what? of the plains, you are always welcome here. Why are you gay? Wait, can't we make spider legs? Oh, no. Go in peace. But I think we're missing the recipe. I don't know where the recipe vendor is for... for cooking on Horde. Swap those two around again. skinning it's 
So yeah, we're well on our way to Wailing Caverns level, actually, as well. We're 91% to 17. Then I would say one more level and we can do Wailing, Caver uh, Wailing Caverns as well. Uh, Wailing Caverns has shoulder pads that heal, but it's not that great for, for me. Like, it's best in slot for Warlocks. Uh, for a while, I would say. Why am I your target, bro? And this thing just crossed fairy on me. there okay i don't know where it was i know it's here somewhere So this priest is just standing here waiting for the barrel. How long does it take for this barrel to spawn? Holy... Thank you. 
The barrels? Okay. Oy, 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 oy. Can you please? Got it. Oh, dude. Almost, almost got stolen under my nose. Almost. Okay, you can get him. We need uh, two more hunters as well. You can also feel that your wand is a little under leveled now. There's a hunter. Right, do we need? Yeah, we need one more hunter. Okay. Hey, don't get too close.
Yo. Who needs a wand if you can crit 90 with a st with a staff, dude? We need one more. Oop, there, there, there. Oh. It is not it. There it is. Alright. Now it shows we have to kill some splay plane striders. I think there's gonna be a lot of people on this quest. What the? What? The thing just came out of nowhere. It's starting to attack me. We're low on tanks, dude. We're getting the full value value from uh, Shadow Word Pain. Nice. 
You stole from me, rogue. How dare you? Stole that plain shot of meat right out of my mouth, dude. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. It's a, it's a joke. A bad one. Okay. But nevertheless. Zebra getting gang banged. Wow, do hate. Yeah, we don't have the Zebra quest yet. I don't think there's a chain... No, there is a chain quest for Wedding Caverns. There for sure is one. Uh, it's that one. You go there to that circle. Then you go to this circle. Then you go over here, kill turtles. And then you have the quest. I think it's a blue item. Should be your, most probably, should be your first uh, blue item you get on your character. Uh, we forgot again to train skinning. Uh, we're seeing dead bodies, so we're going this way again. I think we have another level 18 that died. It's either 18 or 16. One of the two that died is from the guild. Plane Strider, it's just one more and then we're done. Looks like uh, Plane Striders also spawn around here. Another one has to go into this. Give you 20% chance to gain 100% bonus of your spirit after killing a target that heals experience. Fuck. 
For the duration, your mana will regenerate at 50% rate while casting. Dude, that sounds insane. She. One hundred percent taking that. Oh, show. I don't know why we don't have it earlier. I mean, sure, one damage is pretty cool, but you know, infinite mana, especially for dungeons. I feel like that's just a better pick. I don't know why we don't have the zebra quest. Maybe it's a quest. A pre-quest that you have to do. So, after that, where do we go then? It doesn't show yet, and it should. Here we go. Looks like it's a very low percentage. I mean, we have no mana issues, but for dungeons, I feel like that would be so good. Either we need a wand upgrade soon, or we need power word pain to upgrade soon. There we go. VIP has been slain. Why did his name look so different than others? Very good, adventurer. With the plane striders gone, we'll have an easier time keeping our supply chains intact. And I hope you learned a few tricks out there in the Barrens, for your next prey has a little more fire in its blood than the plane striders. The Jevra, although not the fiercest beast in the Barrens, are a shade tougher than the plane striders. Don't worry, we'll send you against bigger prey in good time. But for now, your teeth could use a little more cutting. Hunt the Jevra to the north and south. And collect their hooves. 
Bring them to me, and perhaps we'll next send you against something tougher. You have done well, adventurer. Those insolent quillbores will finally learn that the might of the Horde is not to be ignored. One of my scouts witnessed an attack on a caravan from Duratar, adventurer. The culprits are indeed the razor main tribe of Quillbors. One of the Quillbors in particular is leading the raids, Kreenig Snarlsnout. He was seen northeast of here, just south of the road from Duratar. If the threat is to be ended, then Kreenig must die. To be sure the attacks cease, though, I say we add insult to their injury. Kill Kreenig along with more of their tribe, and return to me when you have his tusk. As the wind on the plains, you are always welcome here. Are you interested in exploring one of these dungeons? As the wind on the plains, you are always welcome here. Yeah, this is like too low hill, so we will get rid of it. Weird. And the RFC zone, boom. Fly to Thunder Bluff. What do you mean, fly to Thunder Bluff? My wind riders are trained to fly quickly through the hot Baron's air. Like, like, what does this guide mean? Are trained to fly quickly through the hot Baron's air. There's a logout skip you can do, but I'm too scared it doesn't work, and then I waste the time. So down here, there's something you can log out onto, and then you'll be by Thunder Bluff's uh, graveyard. Okay, so we're gonna run all the way down south. We're gonna grab this flight point and then just run all the way to Thunder Bluff. I honestly can't believe this guy is just saying, hey, fly to Thunder Bluff. Like, we were never there. So I can't fly there. Okay, I'll catch you guys by this camp. Okay, we made it to the camp. We'll grab the flight point. Because later I feel like it's going to tell me anyway to fly here, so... And then I'm like, dude, I don't have the flight point yet. Many are the paths of the Earth Mother. Wherever you decide to travel, may she watch over you. All right, so let's uh, run to Thunder Bluff, I guess, from here. So we're just gonna run on this path, literally, all the way to Thunder Bluff. We made it, baby. Yay. Frenemy has died.
How may I aid? When mounted on the back of a wind rider, one sees that its reputation for strength and speed is well earned. Uh, we should check out the cooking trainer. What brings you here? Cooking is a lifelong pursuit, and I see we share the same passion. And the socks. Walk with the earth. I need one more skill. For this recipe for bear meat. And we have eight. Speak to me unless you have direct business with my mistress, Magatha. I deal with most of her tasks for her so she can concentrate on more important matters. Perhaps there are some things we could discuss before you seek audience with her. I'm glad to see you took Magatha's task seriously. Thank you, adventurer. I'm sure the Trogs will have a harder time coming to the surface with their numbers so greatly reduced. Perhaps in the future we can take time to figure out where such creatures came from. And what they really want. Excellent adventurer, thank you. Magatha told me that if you were successful in finding her clansmen, that you be given this. Please, take it in thanks. Okay, we're all sitting back to crossroads. Imagine I didn't grab the flight point. I would uninstall. My wind riders are trained to fly quickly through okay, the Okay, now you have it. Okay, where do we go next? All the way down there. But guys, we'll actually do that in the very next video. Uh, we're gonna actually end it here, because once we go out, it's gonna be a lot of quests that we're gonna do, I think. Also, a few hand in quests here in, uh, in... Is it Ratchet? There we go. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.